I'll obey. My life is in your hands. Oh, if it's the way to prove my love when feelings go away. If it cost me every come on. If it cost me everything, come on. If it cost me everything, I'll obey, I'll obey. For the last time, declare unto the Lord, I'll obey and trust you. I'll obey because I am I'll obey my life is in your hands. Oh, if that's the way. That's the way. When feelings go away. If it cost me everything, come on. I'll be to the Lord. If it cost me everything, if I what's more, I'll obey and trust you. I'll obey because I love you. I'll obey my life is in your hands. Oh, if that's the way. If it goes me everything, everything I'll obey. Oh, 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 That's what I long for. A heart that follows hard after thee. A pure heart. That's what I long for. A heart that follows hard after thee. A heart that hides yours. A heart that hides yours. So that sin will not come in A heart that's undivided But one will all agree A heart that fits compassion That pleases you, my Lord Sweet aroma of worship That rises to your throne Usong dalisay Ang aking nais Nalikhain mo Diyos Para sa akin Pusong dalisay Ang aking nais Nalikhain mo Diyos Para sa akin Isang pusong tapat na sayoy ng mamahal, isang puso sayoy walang alilangan, isang puso tinitipon na ikay parang alam, hando kong pagkukuri sayo namang ganito a heart that hides your words. So that seed will not come in. A heart that's undivided, but one to roll away. A heart that's miscompassion, that places you my soul. Sweet aroma of worship, that rises for the last time, beloved. A heart that hides your words. I am just high So that sin is not coming A heart that's undivided But one you roll and spread A heart that makes compassion That pleases you, my Lord You don't want my worship That rises to your throne Your throne 
worship, worship the prices of your throne. Sweet the aroma of worship, the prices of your throne. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Shoro Yokundo Shiarabora Kande. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, we worship you. At this very moment, we would like to request Ambassador Mel Batalia from Alberta to pray for our opening prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Gracious Father, Almighty God, we honor you. We worship you. Yes, Lord. And we glorify your holy name. Be glorified in our midst tonight. We thank you, Lord, for this very night that we are here once again to study thy very word, Father God. As we study thy word, Lord, let thy Holy Spirit be with us. And Father, before we Come to your throne of grace tonight, Father. May I ask your divine yes. forgiveness. Whatever transgressions, Lord, whatever unrighteousness we have done in thoughts and in deed, Father, forgive us. Mm. Let us be worthy unto, the, unto thy sight tonight, Father, as we come to you. Oh, Lord, thank you for your forgiveness. Mm. And once again, Lord, as uh, we are here tonight with uh, all these brethren who are in who are in Facebook, yes. Lord, even in Zoom, Father, bless us and everyone. And Lord, also anoint the lips of your servant who will share your word tonight, Father. Hallelujah. Our very own Bishop Romy. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring you back all the glory and continually be with us and give us a teachable heart tonight, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Shall we sing this song again? In the midst of these challenges, all over the nation of Canada, because of COVID-19 and almost all the province is in the status of very strict. That's why let us declare the greatness of God. The God Home Canada mentioned in the preamble that the nation of Canada declared the supremacy of God and the role of law in this nation. Law according to the will of God. Even in the Philippines, in the preamble of the Philippines, it is also mentioned that God so right now let us come let us come unto the Lord and declare his greatness hallelujah because he is great 
as we declare in this nation how great is our God sing with me how great is our God and oh see how great how great is our God. Yes, Lord. Declare His greatness. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And oh, see how great. How great is our God. The splendor Hallelujah. of the peace. Oh, majesty. And all the earth with your glory. And all the earth we told Rock yourself Yes, Lord Hallelujah And all the earth we told Trumpels out his voice How great How great Yes, our God. Our God. Hallelujah. Sing with me. How great, how great is our God. Our God. And all oh, will see how great, how great, how great is our, yes, our God. Yes, Lord. It's great. It's the way. Yes, Lord. Beginning in the end. Beginning in the end. The God is one. How great, how great, how great, how great, how great, sing with me, how great, sing with me, how great, our God, how great, and all will see how great, how great, how great, how great, how great, how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. How great is our God. And all will see how great is our God. And Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Above all names, you are worthy of all praise, and my heart will see how great okay. is our God. God. Jesus' name, Jesus' name above. You are worthy. In my heart. Our 
well done for the last time. Jesus name. Amen. Jesus name. Oh God. Hallelujah. You are worthy. And my heart. How great. Is our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, praise God. Hallelujah. We'd like to thank God for our Zoom church today. This is what our beloved president in the Philippines declared. Go to your house. <laughs> And build a church there and pray. Hallelujah. And uh, we all know that our body, as the follower of Jesus Christ, is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have your Bible, Ambassador Mel, would you please open your Bible in John 14, verse 15. Do you have a Bible? Your Bible, Jen? Nandito kasi ako sa store. Okay, praise Lord. I entitled our sharing tonight The Measurement of Our Love to God. Amen. When we say God, it includes, of course, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ang sukatan, in Tagalog, those who are watching in YouTube, ang sukatan ng ating pagmamahal sa Diyos. The measurement of our love to God. Jesus, I mean, can, you, can you please, the Bible? I just want to read word for word on this New Living Translation Bible. We would like to encourage everyone, those who are watching with us right now, it's already 9.03 of Saturday, September 25. September 25, 9.03 in the evening, and we are representing right now two provinces from Canada and um, Saskatchewan. Hallelujah. One moment, I just want to, I just want to, uh, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Okay. We are almost uh, the same time. One moment. We are almost the same time in our service in Hamindan Copies. I just received. I just received. Katatanggap ko lang ng picture. Uh, matatapos na yung service nila sa Jam Hamindan Kapis in my own homeland Sunday uh, morning and uh, right here in right here in uh, Saskatchewan and in Alberta we are representing right now two provinces and for your information we will be ending tonight in prayer because our province declare that this October 1st, uh, many and many uh, restaurants are not allowing people who don't have a vaccine passport. So tonight, to let us uh, discover the measurement of our love to God. 
So those who are watching right now in Facebook and then in uh, YouTube, if you will open your Bible, if you can open your Bible in John 14, and the verse is in verse 15, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation Bible. And it says here, Jesus Christ is the one speaking here. If you love me, see, the word if is conditional. If you love me, obey my commandments. If you love me, obey my commandments. Mom, would you please... Uh, would you please tumatawag yung Mindanao pastor natin? Kontakin mo si Joel Pairat. Message mo. Nakalive tayo. <laughs> Katapos lang ng service nila siguro. So tumatawag ang ating pastor sa Misamis Occidental. Mayong buntag diha. Joel. Joel Pairat. Luzon Mindanao. Adyam Mindanao. This morning, mga kapatid, brothers and sisters, Tonight, here in Canada, Jesus Christ is the one speaking here. And he said to his followers, If you love me, obey my commandments. So what is the measurement of our love to God? Is obedience. Actually, in, in other translation of the Bible, those who keep and obey my words, they are the one who loves me. So this is, it is very, very clear. That's why you cannot say, prayer. Nakalive kasi ako eh. Nakalive ako sa Facebook. So, tonight, let us identify ourselves if we really love Jesus Christ. Dahil po, siya mismo ang nagsasalita rito in verse 15. If you love me, Obey my commandments. My beloved friends, brothers and sisters, and my, even my family, even my friends, even my brethren in, uh, inside our congregation. In this verse itself, you can identify yourself if you really love Jesus Christ. And the proof is obedience. Pagsunod sa kanyang mga commandments, sa kanyang mga salita. Wala nang iba. Kasi it's, it's easy to say, I love the Lord. No. <laughs> you, can, you can observe in different fellowship that everybody are, are raising up their hands Everybody are saying, I love you, Lord. <laughs> Everybody are saying, Lord, I love you. I want to serve you. But Jesus Christ said, if you love me, obey my commandments. So it is a plural, not only one. Commandments, marami. Not even, not even, the Ten Commandments. Aside from the Ten Commandments, actually, nandoon na yung ano eh, kung, kung mahal natin ang Lord, makikita natin doon, love the Lord with all your, you know, with all your heart. Not, not in the Ten Commandments. Actually, the, the Ten Commandments is divided to horizontal, uh, vertical, and horizontal. Yung responsibility natin sa Diyos at sa kapwa tao. But, 
outside that commandment, Jesus Christ gave us a lot of commandments. For example, let your light so shine before men. So it is a command. Let your light. Diba? Sinabi ng Panginoon, hayaan nyo na inyong liwanag ay makita ng mga tao upang so that they could glorify, they will glorify your Father. Okay? Um, pwedeng magbigay si Brother Mel ng kanyang kuro-kuro <laughs> because this is a, uh, what we call, this is a kingdom living talk show. A Zoom church and we are in live right now. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, isang, ano, uh, in, in terms of what the Lord Jesus is asking to us, believers, mm -hmm. the, He said that if you love me, follow my commandments. Obey, follow yata. Yeah. So what what I I can I would uh, what I'm trying to what I can understand what the Lord Jesus Christ is asking us to do is that the least of what we can do is the thing to actually honor him and most especially we have to share the good news for to those people who have not who is not believing him yet that's one thing. That is one of his commandments that we should share the word Amen. to other people. That's uh, with it, with uh, with with refers to evangelism or winning soul. Yeah, 100%. and God, uh, Jesus also said, "If you love me." follow my commandments, he also commanded us to actually show our love to other people. Mm -hmm. Because he actually said that love is the greatest commandment that he has commanded us. So, no matter what, especially to our brethren, our fellow believers, we have to have that relationship of godly love and godly understanding with one another. Mm -hmm. Good. So right now, those who are watching with us, if Jesus Christ measure our love, if there are one to ten, if there is one to ten gauge, what gauge do we have in loving God? Mean, meaning, in in the in the basic uh, command of the Lord, like for example, like for example. Share the word in season and out of season. Okay, uh, that's that word is the Holy Spirit was the one who gave to Saint Paul. Uh, sharing the word of God or proclaiming the word of God is really a, a command. No? A command. And also live. That's why Matthew 5.16, very clear. If we will evaluate that verse, 
God is expecting us to show the light that we have because Jesus is the light. And that is also a command. Let your light shine before me. In terms of in terms of obedience to our parents, okay, all of us are children because we have our fathers, we have our mother. In terms of uh, in terms of uh, uh, horizontal love, actually, when 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 uh, when we go back to John thirteen thirty four, it is mandatory command of the Lord. It is a mandatory to to love one another. So that the world would know and see that we are the disciples. He doesn't, he, he, did, he did not say, hindi niya sinabing, okay, mahalan kayo para masabi kayo mga kristyano kayo. No. He said, so that you will, so that the people would know that you are my disciples. So, obedience to God's command is part of discipleship because disciple is a pupil disciple is student and we as student we should and we must obey our teacher when the teacher gave us this instruction or this teaching or this lesson and we don't, we don't want to, be, to follow during examination what will happen bagsak <laughs> Ganon din sa ating buhay, mananampalataya. Kailangan po talagang papatunayan na tayo ho ay pumapasa sa examination ng Panginoon. Kaya love is the measurement of our or obedience, sorry. Obedience is the measurement of our love. Doon sa buhay ni King Saul sa 1st Samuel 15 there was a story na kaya nga sinabi ng ng propeta Nathan tama ba si Nathan? Yeah. To obey is better than sacrifice. Dahil kung titingnan natin ang context ang hirap gawin yung uh, ang medyo radical yung command ng Diyos eh. Ba? Kay King Saul sa 1 Samuel 15 pinapapatay ng Lord yung lahat ng mga Amalekites eh. <laughs> Ang bigat no? no? Lipulin mo sabi ng Diyos. In fact, isang araw nagturo ako ng ganyan in example ko yung obedience na na-misinterpret ako at ang sabi ay ano mang gusto ni Pastor? Papatay ako ng tao? No, hindi sinasabi yan. Kaya lang, during that time, God knows what He was commanding to commanded to Saul dahil ang Amalekites ay hindrances or sagabal sa programa ng Diyos. ba? Halimbawa, let's take example. Uh, let's go to uh, the life of Joshua. Sabi ng Lord, Sabi ni Joshua kasi ganito, natatalo sila sa labanan. So, I believe na mahal na mahal ni Joshua ang Panginoon. So, nagtanong siya, Lord, why did you allow this to happen to us? Ang dami kong sundalong na patay. And the Lord said, Okay, there was or there is somebody who uh, traitor or disobey me. What you have to do is to search every tent and after mo ma, ma search I at may nakita ka kung sino what you have to do is kill that person <laughs> patayin mo ang tao ngayon at lahat ng kanyang uh, lahat ng kanyang uh, 
lahat ng kanyang mga tag ito, yung angkan or generation, ang bigat noon. Pero God knows what He was doing. Sabi niya kay Joshua, lipulin mo lahat yung mula kay Achan at sa kanya mga apu hanggang maubos yung kanyang lahi kasi yung mga lahi niya gagawa pa rin niya ng labag sa akin kung mabubuhay pa yan. So kung titignan natin, if we will evaluate, ang hirap ng pinagawa ng Diyos. Si Abraham, let's go back to Abraham in Genesis. Sabi ni Lord, offer to me your Isaac. And we all know In the Old Testament, when we say offer, mga ganon, yung may buhay ay pinapatay. Sinusunog. But Abraham, without murmuring, he immediately obeyed the Lord. Hindi lang faith yun eh. Kapag pinag-aralan natin, hindi lang faith yun eh. Actually, mahirap sinasabihin na ikaw ay may faith kung hindi mo mahal ang Diyos. Magka, hindi pwede magkaano yun eh. Hindi pwede magkasalungat. Oh, I have faith in God. And then, actually, sabi nga ni Miles, uh, ni, ni, ni Ralph Mahoney in Hong Kong, 2001, January noon, uh, nabanggit niya, na faith is an obedient action <laughs> to what God has said. Ibig sabihin, kung hindi kung wala tayong pag-ibig kasi ang pag-ibig kaya natin nasasabing mahal natin ang Diyos kasi may faith nga tayo. Ngayon, kung may faith nga tayo, madali nating gawin ang command ni Lord. Hindi pwede magkahiwala yung faith at saka love eh. Kaya ngayong oras na ito those are watching. Very simple ang sabi ni Lord John 15 14 verse 15. If you love me, obey my command. Now, let's go to the next bago tayo mag-open. Ano. Ang Diyos ay kanina nabanggit ko yan sa preaching ko na it is illegal for God and the Holy Spirit, God the Father, Holy Spirit, to do things without using this life or without using His people. Bakit? Eh, he, hindi mo makikita ang Diyos. Eh. Kaya ginagamit niya ang mga tao niya. Ganon din si Satan. Also, with uh, also Satan, he is using his people to sow wickedness. Kaya ang in order for us to to fulfill what the dream of God for us is to obey, because He is commanding us to do to fulfill to do things to fulfill His dream. What is dream ng Panginoon? What is the vision of God? What is the plan of God? Genesis in Genesis 3:15 after the fall of man nagplano agad ang Diyos. Nasa binhi ng babae lalabas ang dudurog sa ulo ng serpiente. Head means authority. So sino ang gagamitin ni Lord doon? Tayo. Pero hindi siya mga kilos. Kaya ang dami ang mga nangyayari. If, if only all the believers are obedient to the word of the Lord, madali para sa Diyos ang baguhin ang ating lugar, ang ating buhay, pamilya. So tonight, let us uh, conclude through our action. Meaning, let us prove and let us show to God and to Satan our unlimited obedience on His Word. Dahil siya mismo ang nagsabi, He is the one who said that if you love me, obey my commandments. Right now, ang ating kanina ang pinag-usapan namin sa conference The topic or the theme is the restoring or the rebuilding the walls. The story is in Nehemiah, in Jerusalem, but right now it is not literal Jerusalem now, but in our lives, 
in our businesses, in our church, in our family. God is calling our attention. If we love Him, we need to obey Him. So one of the command of the Lord, na mention ni Brother Mel kanina, is all about yung pagsishare ng gospel. Yan ho ang the bit of the heart of God is yung ano, yung ma-restore. Ma-restore ang kanyang paghahari sa atin, sa ating pamilya, at sa ating community or bansa. Now, there is need of action. Kasi kung wala, hindi makakilos ang Panginoon. Hindi siya makakilos. Amen? Amen. So, it needs action plan. Sa aming pamilya, katulad kanina, madalas uh, mayroon kasi kaming tinatawag na group chat ng pamilya. At siyempre, ang karamihan dyan ay pamangkin. Apo, may mga apo na eh. <laughs> so, the only way that I could share the through that, through that uh, minsan bihira ko sila nakausap pag direct na tinatawagan kasi it might be mahina ang signal. But you know, kailangan lalo na ngayon, especially at this point in time. Kaya sa mga mananampalataya dito masusukat, kumahal natin ang Diyos. Eh, sinabi ng Diyos, pray for your government officials. Hindi, Lord, galit ako eh. Ayaw ko sa, ayaw ko sa leader namin na yan eh. Eh, sinabi na nga ng Diyos na pray for your government official. Naman dito na dito na susukat ang ating bagumahan. Praise God. And I believe Brother Mel is ready to obey the commands of the Lord. Hallelujah. Sa paningin natin ngayon, aring bishop, uh, medyo busy ang tao. Eh, walang, wala talagang ano eh. Kapag inalaw naman Tingnan mo ha, pag inalaw ni Lord, kaya nga kanina nabanggit ko uli, there are two major reasons why God allowed this super pandemic na. First, kinukuha ni Lord, God is getting the attention of many, many, many people all over the world to call to Him in Jesus' name. And the second one is God is calling, getting the attention of each, every one of us to become serious in our kingdom living. So kung mahal natin ang Lord, dapat mahal natin ang ating, lalo na ang kapwa natin mananampalataya. Amen. No lies. No lies in perfect love of God. When we say love to God, it is a agape. God wanted to, to express our agape love to Him. Nagaling din sa Kanya. Kasi we cannot express our phileo love. Phileo is friendly love. No, we cannot express that kind of love. That's why sabi ng pag, love the Lord with 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 all. <laughs> with all your heart. Not, not, not 99%. With all your mind or soul. And with all your strength. Kaya, yan talaga. Oh, yeah. Grabe. Strength. Ibig sabihin yung ating katawan. Ibigin mo ang Diyos ng iyong buong kaluluwa, buong puso, puso, it speaks about our spirit. No? So talagang 100% sabi niya, with all eh. With all your heart. Kaya ngayon, paano natin ma-prove na mahal natin siya? Kasi madali sabi, Lord, I love you in, in singing, worship, wow! Dali eh. It's very easy. Pero paano natin ma-prove? Dapat, kung ano sinasabi ni Lord, kagawin natin. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And uh, those who are watching in Facebook, uh, God knows you and whether you accept it or not, if you are a believer of Jesus Christ, my mandate, my mandate na binigay sa'yo, God gave you an assignment with brother man, with my wife, I believe. And sometimes, it is hard, but praise be to God because God has a promise. Amen? Amen. So, walang, walang 
walang uh, walang dahilan na hindi natin ibigin ang Diyos. Kasi yun ang measurement, eh, yung obedience. Walang dahilan na hindi natin siya sundin. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Siguro mag-pray tayo ngayon. Those who are watching in Facebook, in this video, if you have a struggle in your obedience to God, you have to pray and completely give our heart. Because if our heart is not completely surrender to God, brothers and sisters, it is hard to obey the Lord. Like for example, in in uh, in Macedonian Church in Second Corinthians eight verse one to five. The the key word there, the key words, I, it was easy for them to do something for God. Kasi po, first they gave themselves to the Lord. Kaya napaka imagine na in 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 Second Corinthians eight verse one to five. Could you imagine? They experience severe poverty, radical poverty, but because of their love to God, they wanted to obey the Lord in supporting Saint Paul. So, sa ating buhay, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, commandments of the Lord. Kaya nga ngayon. Uh, Mayroon ka pang mayroon ka pang masasabi, Brother Mel, may dagdag ka pa? Bago tayo mag-pray. I believe people are watching us. By the way, ang tanong, Brother Mel. <laughs> hmm. Bakit nahihirapan ang mga taong nagsasabing mahal ko ang Diyos pero ang hirap naman sumunod? What is the reason uh, behind? Um uh, I believe na people hardly obey mm -hmm. the Lord of so many reasons. Una, their love unto the Lord is not genuine. Mm -hmm. Pangalawa, they have a lot of things to do beside their obedience. Like, they still love the Lord, mm -hmm. but yet, they most love the world. Yeah. They love the world more than the Lord. Mm -hmm. Although, when we try to speak to them, asking them the question, they would say, oh, I love the Lord. I know the Lord. And I always do this for the Lord. But yet, in the true sense, from, the, from, from their heart, there is always what we call, like, there is always something behind their ex, uh, their, um, there is something behind their de de declaration saying that they love the Lord. Maybe one thing to say if you know people are listening to them they can tell but deep in their heart they have another hidden agenda in their lives. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. So, merong, meron silang ibang mga pinagkakaabalahan sa buhay. Minsan, I, uh, if we remember when the Lord Jesus Christ asked a young person, To follow him. But mm -hmm. what 
this young person said. First, I would go and say goodbye to my father. And ma many reasons. But yet, he said he wanted to be saved. Mm -hmm. Same thing as those people right now who are telling that they love the Lord, but yet, the love that they are trying to tell is not actually pure. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung mga dahilan. Mara, uh, and many, many things. So, balik tayo sa ating text, John 14, verse 15. So, very clear na ang sukatan, the measurement of our love is obedience. Kasi, in other words, kulang, hindi talaga tama yung pagmamahal ng sinasabi ng tao kapag hindi niya sinusunod ang sinasabi ni Lord. Ngayon, ano to eh, konektado to eh. Mahirap naman ibigin ang Diyos si Jesus Christ kung hindi mo siya kilala. Mm -hmm. Right? That's one thing. <laughs> It is impossible to love if you don't know somebody. Mm -hmm. Kaya yung mga nagsasabi na <laughs> love at first sight, hindi totoo yan eh. Lalo na yung sinasabing love is blind. Lalong hindi totoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dahil hindi bulag ang pag-ibig. Eh. Amen? Amen. So, But the lovers are blind. Mm. <laughs> so ngayon, ang pinakamahalaga, makilala. Makilala ng tao ang Diyos para matutunan niyang ibigin. Like me, like you, papaano ko ba na mahal at sumunod sa Diyos? Nakilala ko siya. Hindi, hindi perfect. Well, wala pang perfect sa atin. Pero nakilala ko siya unti-unti. So pagkakilala, pagkakilala sa Diyos ang napakhalaga para lalong matutunan natin siyang ibigin. At doon, mapapatunayan natin, mahal natin siya kung talagang iniibig natin siya. So doon sa mga nanonood, those who are watching with us, Do you really know the Father, Jesus? Diba, paano natin makilala? Sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga salita. Kaya urgent na urgent. Confirm ito sa sinasabi ng Romans 10, verse 13 to 15. Now, let's go back sa ating text. Sabi ni Jesus, If you love me, obey my commandments. So, kailangan makilala muna natin si Lord. Ang hirap, it is hard to obey Him if we don't know Him personally. So those who are watching with us, makikilala nyo lang si Jesus kung magkaroon kayo ng right relationship with Him. Amen. Tulad na mag-asawa, magkaibigan, pa -pa paano ba sila nagkaroon ng matibay na relasyon? Nagkakilala. Impossible naman siguro. It is impossible to love your neighbor kung hindi mo siya kilala. Siyempre man ang isabihin, mahal mo yung tao, pero alam mo mahirap eh. Lalo na sa Diyos. So yung pagkakilala, dapat makilala natin siya ng personal. Amen? Amen. Tayo dumako sa prayer. Una, nais natin ipag-pray yung mga nanonood ngayon sa Facebook, sa YouTube, Maaring sabihin nyo, you might say, Bishop, I know the Lord. We are so very religious, Pastor. We are so very religious. I mean, no. Religious din po ako noon. At hindi doon makikilala ang Diyos sa baging religious. Dahil yun nga ang kalaban ng Diyos, yung religious spirit. So right now, let us come and surrender our lives unto the Lord so that Jesus Christ could enter into our hearts at doon magsisimula ang relationship at makikilala nyo. Makikilala nyo unti-unti si Jesus at doon mo mapatunayan yung mahal mo siya. Amen? Amen. 
Let us pray, those who are watching, even you are already born again Christian. But again, our topic tonight, the measurement of our love to God is our obedience. Pero mahirap umobey. It's hard to obey if we don't know Jesus Christ. Just open your heart and completely surrender your life unto the Lord. Maging sa atin. Ano pa ba na mga area ng ating buhay ay hindi natin sinusuko sa Panginoon? Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name right now, we come to you with a humble heart. Those who are watching in Facebook, in Zoom, in YouTube, Lord, you know them one by one. And if you are watching right now and you don't have right relationship with the Lord, I want to pray for you. Just follow in this simple prayer. Just say to Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, I am a sinner. and I failed you many, many times. I failed you many, many, many. Forgive, me forgive me for all my sins. All my sins. Cleanse me with your holy blood. Cleanse me with your holy blood. And tonight, and tonight I surrender my life to you. I surrender my life. Take full control of my life. Take full control of my life. Come into my heart. I receive you. I receive you. As my Lord and my Savior. And, my Lord and, Savior. and I will follow you. And I will follow you. Always in my life. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Write my name in the book of life in heaven. Write my name in the book of life in heaven. And tonight or today, I want to follow you. In your name, amen. Yes. Beloved friends, those who are watching in Canada, let us pray for our country, especially those who are in Saskatchewan. And different provinces that many, many, many people are in fear because of what's happening in our country, in our province about vaccine passport. Let us pray right now. Father, in Jesus' name, you are the God of all flesh. And there is no heart for you. Right now, we pray for our country, Canada. Yes, Lord. Lord, touch every premier, touch every MP, especially premier, Lord, and let them experience your love, your touch, and Lord, we pray for revival, touch the, yes, touch the hearts, our leaders, and let them see your plan, let them see your perfect will. Yes. God, in Jesus' name we pray, especially in our province, Lord. According yes, Lord. That October 1st will be the start of hardship because many cannot enter and enjoy the government offices and uh, restaurant. Yes. People are not vaccinated. So we pray, oh God, for yes, our Lord your spirit or government officials tonight and to all the nations of Canada. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in our country in Jesus' name. Lord, Jesus. according to many news that what's happening is not constitutional. So we pray that every justice all over the nation would uh, interfere or make a way if the yes, okay. nations are not constitutional, Lord. Lord, we pray for a miracle. Touch our justice. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, even in the Philippines, our symbolic Jerusalem, thank you so much for your divine intervention. Yes, oh God. We continue to pray, Lord, because we are living right now in the nation of Canada. So we pray, oh God. Yes, Lord. Touch our 
leaders from our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and to all, the, all the MPs, all the MLAs, chiefs in the First Nation community, that there be spiritual awakening before October 1st. Yes, in Lord. In Jesus' name. Father God, we thank you. Also in the Philippines, and God, our brethren right now, uh, continue to touch our brethren, in, especially inside our congregation right here in Canada, right there in the Philippines, in Bangkok, Thailand. We pray that you would touch and empower and protect our brethren. And Lord, we pray right now for all the saints of God. Let everyone would become obedient to you, to your words. Because this is the only way we could be sure. We could gauge our love to you. Father, tomorrow during our Sunday worship service, live, yes, virtual, Zoom, we pray, yes. touch your people and touch yes, oh the people of yours all over the world in our services. In Jesus Christ, dear Father, we give you praise. Lord, complete healing, good health upon the life of Brother Mel. Yes, continue Lord, thank to you so much. Your glory, continue to elevate the faith of Brother Mel from uh, this very and the whole members of his family. Yes, Lord. Become a real follower of Jesus Christ. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you so much. We honor you and use Brother Mel mightily to reach out yes. in the name of Jesus. People who don't have right relationship with God. Yes. Father God, we thank you and we honor you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise God bless those who are watching with us. God bless. We have our, we have our 2 30 service tomorrow. And in the Philippines, that is 4.30 in the morning of Monday. So God richly bless you and shalom. Bye-bye. <laughs> Praise the Lord. God bless you. Good night. And good night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>